Well, what, what happened in this? Was it the Artichoke pub or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. Big, big Jacko, yeah. yeah what, what was that? No, incident? we went there with my mate, or two mates. And we went in the toilet, and so I said to my mate, he said, come, we'll go down Farmers. I said, yeah, all right, then. And this other big geezer in the toilet said, well, you've got a brass down there, then? I said, no, I don't. He said, who did you go for a drink? So he went out, so I said to my mate, who's him? Who's he? So yeah, he's a right flesh monkey. So, really, I said, so he said, well, we don't know him. He went, no, no. I said, and he's telling us where we're going. I went, so I went out, wait, what's the matter with you? And then my mate picked up a, a, a bottle. So I went, oh, he said, you want to play with bottles? He said then, I said, no, 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 no. I said, me and you. And he was a great big lump. So I um, went outside and, and it went like that. And I thought he was going to pull a knife out of his back pocket or something. So I went and went smash and over he went. So I jumped on him because he was going to get up. I didn't hit him no more. Jumped on And my mate went to kick him. So I took the, I said, no, no, no. I, st I took the kicks on my arm. He like, was out. He said, I don't know. If I do a geezer and he's out, finished. I've won the prize, haven't I? So we left there, I said, come, we're going now. We was up the road um, to get in our car, and there's a great big crowd round the thing. I said, hello, I think they want us, they want, they want some more. I said, come, we'll go back. No, 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 we'll go. I said, no, come, we'll go back. So we went went back to them, and they went, yeah, it's all right with you, six of you to do him. I said, six of us to do him? I said, I don't mind out of the way, and I got in there standing up, I got in by the... I said, now tell him, sure he done you by himself. He went, sure he done you by himself. He went, all right, so sure he done me by myself. I said, Lana! I sure he done me by myself. I said, Lana! He went, sure he done me by myself. And I went, bing! Over he went again. I said, all right, by myself. And walked away. But, um... Had to be done. Had to be, no, but he, he got to take me out off to him. He, um, years later, I already speak to a geezer about, about me. He said, phew. Don't worry about it, he can hit. He said he's not, he, he done me twice. Now he could have said I wasn't looking or made up some excuse, so I'll take me out of tears, Jacko. You're a, a proper man. And no, well, no, in prison is, um, I mean, you're all in there, you're all in the same boat, you know what I mean? You're, you're in there. But then you you, you get the, uh, the mongrels who's in for rapes and different little things. That they're, and then you get the chaps, all the chaps stick together. And the very cause any show and the other ones that always help them out. And uh, things like you don't you don't have like a, any levels of anything. You you're in there all in there together, but you get arseholes and, and you get uh, nice people. And and but you sort of when you first went in, they kind of took you to the highest level, didn't they? In a way, they. No, they... Yeah, yeah, but only for the trouble trouble side of thing. I mean, you know. Uh, I wasn't bothered about screws or, or anybody, you know, I, I, could, I could have a run and that was it. So that, that's, they put me in, as you say, in the highest bracket. In respect to every, every prison I went into, same as Frankie Fraser, they say, Frank Fraser's coming to Frank, you know. You know, he, he's, 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 his reputation goes before him. And the same was happening to me. Sure is it, sure is it. And, and one of the things that you did a lot in prison is, is uh, attacked the, the grasses and, and stuff like that. I mean, the, and and the charmless, is, is there a real hatred for those sort of people in there? Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're uh, mongrels, aren't they? You know? I mean, I had a television interview once before, and this woman said to me, boy, what gives you the right to cause them, them people who've already been sentenced, you know, more harm? So I said, just imagine how them kids suffered for them mongrels when they get his life now, and, and they're out in, in no time at all. They get sent into their own little wings, they ain't got no aggravation on that. They just talk all Peter Bowles together. They talk what they've done. What you know, then uh, animals said they need to be done, and you know, badly suffer all the way through. Look at that, what the kids who just done the, them two girls. I mean, it, just imagine how they suffer. And poor two little girls, two little pff, makes me cry. And and even even today, would you still feel that if you were in that situation, that you would do someone like that? Girl? Oh yeah, oh yeah, without without a shadow of doubt. And I'm sure there's people in there who would do the same thing, but th they look after them now. Mm. They put them down. The only way you can do it, I've, I've tried to get the geese that do it in the kitchen, is poison their food. So when they eat it, they, they wake up dead. <laughs> or don't wake up. But you, you did you did actually do a few, quite a few grasses in, in prison, didn't you? Yeah, I've done, I've done quite a few, yeah. And, and um, did you, I mean, you knifed uh, one, I believe. 
Oh, yeah, I've got the one um, again. It's when Jack there was um, Jack there helped me out. I, um, he was in the cinema, and uh, I've got the keys in the brush shop. They get um, a broom handle and they stick a big nail in it, so they have got nails to it. And uh, but so I was just going out on exercise. I was with um, Jack the yeah, just walked hit him with it. But if you, you know, if you, you know, I've never been stabbed. But if you, I reckon, if you, if you get stabbed. You don't if you don't feel the, the, the thing going in or anything, you just feel like a punch. So I like don't know like that. He turned around and went, sorry mate. And he, he walked on around the exercise with his uh handle with the broom sticking out his back. And he went on the outside circle and I, I went on the, the inside. And I said, look, he's still and he's sticking out his back or something like he's tapped him on the shoulder. He said, look, I can't hear what he's saying, but he went. So he went. Pulled out of his back, walked up to a screw, and you know realised what was happening, and then just collapsed. And and I and I, uh, I nicked another pal with me called Freddie Sampson, but he's dead now. So that's why I was just saying you don't him. But he he, uh, he was there with me. You know he was involved as much as me, but he's, he's dead. So he know they never done him. What well, what about the the one at the um the football match was 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 he? Uh, oh yeah, that was a, another thing when I just come out of a brawl, yeah. Yeah, was he a grass or? I, I don't no, know. he was just a, he was just a bully. Um, my mate Bertie Costa was um playing football and he kept having him over, fouling him, having him over. So when he came out off the field, Bert said, "I'm not going to do that. He's not going to do him." I said, "All right, we'll do him as we go in." So um, he was going in. It's up up stone stairs, you know. So we got to the top of the thing, turned around as a scaffold bonk, and the geezer went, fell backwards, and his head hit the, down the bottom of the stairs, and went, popped it like that, just like that. So I picked him up, I said, well, go back to the wing belt, and pulled him up, and uh, set the same position, and uh, I, heard, I thought he was coming too, so I whacked him again, and uh, left him, and I went to our, went to our cells, and um, Two days before they opened, they, you know, served us our food, they locked us up for two days. Or well, someone, they, the two police came in and we so we said, uh, Roy, uh, did you see any trouble coming in from a football on Saturday? I went, trouble? No, no, well, what's that? So he went, well, we said, t t no, no trouble, no fights. No, I never saw nothing, no. So we said, there was a fight, you know, I went, was there? I never saw it. So he went, uh, oh, all right. So what happened to the geezer? So he said, oh, he's, he's dead. Come on, Alan. Oh, is he? And that was it. Next day we was Dan Shoki and uh, what's his name? Um, Charles with murder, I mean Bertie Costa. But, but you were you got off, didn't the the guys? Yeah, no, it was two witnesses. And um, as I was um, coming into the court, I gave him the first look. And looking at me, and he said, "There, I was coming in from the football. I was in front of Sean Costa, and we got to the top of the stairs." I went, that's all the shrunk, you mongrel! Oh. He said, next thing I know, I said, Shaw was opening him up the bottom of the stairs. So, so I said, Shaw, any more of that? He said, you'll be down in the cells, you won't be listening to the case. Right? So he managed to keep it up, right? Keep it up. It's only one more witness anyway. So he came in, and he was the best, he was better than the other one. He came in, and I looked at him, and he seen him lock him in, put his head down. And um, he said, I got to the top of the stairs in front of Sean Costa. I said, I turned around, I said, I said, that's all that's true. He said, what? I said, you saw nothing. I didn't see a thing. So that was it. They, you know, this child, the judge couldn't say, go down to cells again, because there was no more witnesses anyway. And uh, that was it. My, my, if Bert Coster had a, uh, a brief, he would have probably got off and all. The same evidence against him as it was me. But um, I had a solicitor there, Joey Pohl got him for me. That's twice you saved me life. And, um, you know, it's no case to answer for sure, so they slung me out, so that was it. Do you have any sort of regrets about any of those kind of attacks or anything? Yeah, I, I feel sad for that bloke, because, you know, it was a, just a fight, a right hand they got, and um, he did, you know, so obviously that's, that's, you know, that is sad. But you know, no, no way did that mean to be, that in, to attend that, you know, just but to whack him in, and, and that was it, you know, but... Uh, to die, you know, it's a, it was an accident. Okay. Frank, uh, the, the, the axe man, but what was, what was he like? I think I would say, a gentleman. 
I was I was in the, this time doing the 21 months for the, for the, the nine charges of armed robbery, and um, and I was in Wandsworth, and that they um, I was called a couple of rows in Wandsworth, so they stuck me over what they call H and K wing. That's like a special wing where they keep the um, troublemakers and the different people like that in. And obviously Frank Mitchell was over there, so I'm walking around the the, uh, the exercise, and great big cat. I heard about your case, I read about your case. I'd done the same with you, the publicity, because they had a photo of my wife in the paper. And, you know, they made a great big thing yeah. out, 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 out the, the robbery. And, uh, and anyway, I got talking to him, and, and what a nice, nice bloke. And he was saying, you know, I took this young lady out, Roy, and I said, excuse me. He was so polite, and he, he was a giant of a man. And about, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't say a bad word about, about it, against him, anything. And the other thing is, that obviously the Scrooge was a bit scared of him because he, he must have had a nasty temper. But I used to get in the same queue as him when you get your dinner. So say that, if they were doing roast buzz, well it's like three or four to each prisoner. So Frank used to say, what's the more? Scrooge look at give me a couple more. And I want the same as him. <laughs> and they used to, they to give me the same as him and that was it. So. And he knew everything about wirelesses. He made up um, what they were, little things that you can stick in your pocket, switch it in a light, and, and you, you get one or two programs on. So you know, because you can only have a, a wireless, you know, after you've done four years. But you know, I was only doing 21 months, so no, no wireless. But he, he made me up with all the calls of wire around this little um, little packet of thing, you know, and uh, you switch it in on the top, and you. And you Switch it in the light and, uh, and touch the bed, the bell, mm. and you can uh, uh -huh. you, you get the programs, you know, B, uh, BBC One and whatever. But it's quite interesting because in your book it says that because you were in with Frank Mitchell and then Jack the Hat and George Cornell, so yeah. the three people that the craze. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and it is, yeah. It is, a, it is a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, uh, and the Cornwell, Corn Cornell, I was in ones with him, and I was coming down the stairs to the bottom floor, and he was having a row with two geezers over something. So I jumped in and done them for him, and uh, so but that's all I knew of him, you know. It's just that little short uh, thing, and then I got moved to another, another prison. Did you did you feel? I mean, with those three, did it affect your relationship with the craze? That the fact that they had done no, all of them. No, I never met, had anything to do with the craze at all, because they was at the uh, protection and the, their way of life in the clubs. Well, I wasn't. Uh, a club man or anything, but any club I did get, uh, go to, mm -hmm. no matter if it was the Richardson's, the um, the Crays, anybody you know, I had respect. I could walk in any any place and say hello, Roy, and you come, but no no problem. And uh, what was the question? Uh, it was the fact did it affect your relationship? The fact that no 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 no. But, but I, was, I David they was at the Blags. I mean I was at the Blags and they was at the thing. So we we had respect for each other. And if we saw it, hello hello. But then all of a sudden um, then Ronnie they got their bit of bird. Then I got out, and we used to always go up and see. Now, Ronnie came, used to come and saw me when I was in Broadmoor. When I went there, I, I didn't know how they knew, I don't know. But um, Scrooge came and said, You've got a visitor, Roy. I said, yeah, Who's that? He said, Ronnie Cry. Do you want to see him? I said, Yeah, by all means. And I went there, and uh, you know, I told him that uh, someone was um, messing about with my wife. So they went up with uh, this other geezer, and they, they said they shot him, but they, they didn't. Did they not actually, no, they didn't do that? Didn't they, they said they come back, he brought it, he said, Roy, he's, just, he's done the geezer for you. I don't know, he said, how did that happen? He said, went out in the market, Roy, he said, put two shots up, he went in the air, so it must have uh, hurt him. But then, one of the Dixons wrote a book afterwards, and he was told a true story. He met the, the geezer, I forget his name now, the geezer who was doing it. He, um, he said, oh, no, we won't, but we, we just made out we'd done it. So oh, really? th that was the truth. Yeah.